Peace. It's your brother, Frater Double R, Bro Robinson, coming to you. Today's the 17th. Knowledge God, 1 7. So, uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit and build a little bit about knowledge and wisdom and the importance of wise and being uh, wise and wisdom itself, right? The importance of wisdom. Uh, how do you be wise? First, um, how I see um, becoming wise is to be aware, is to uh, have knowledge, right? Like King Solomon was the wisest man of of all time, it's said to be, right? So um, how and why was he so wise, right? I think it was because he was most aware. He was supremely aware um, of his situations, the people around him, their ways of thinking, manipulations they might try and use against him um, and all and everything else that might fall in between there and around there so uh, so it comes into I see it as being um, the most aware is gonna make you a wise person why is that so important um, so the awareness is what and how we start to um, become self-reflective and aware of our own thoughts. Um, when we start thinking about, well, technically, the awareness isn't really like a, a thinking. It's kind of like a, a moment of being. Um, it's like a... Um, a moment of being I experience them all the time you might see them on this video um, where I have moments where I have to just be and let the message come to me or float through me so I'm just like a conduit I don't exist um, it's just coming through me so um, so the wisdom that's how it's gonna come in those moments of being in those silent moments too and those you have to be silent to let it come and hear it and experience it so you can let it flow through you. Um, so when we start practicing self-awareness, this is what we start experiencing and what we start building is our wisdom. And we start building and having these experiences um, and messages that might come to you in those moments of silence. Some people call it might call those moments of silence prayer. Some people might call those moments of silence meditation. Um, some call it quiet observation. Um, some breathe, you know, it's all different. But um, what we're here to do is to learn to see the similarities in things. And that's what I like to encourage people to do is to see the similarities in things rather than the differences. Um, and that's what it will allow us to uh, bridge the gap between people and uh, nations and differences in people is we look to see the uh, similarities more than the differences. We can always spot the differences, but when we see the similarities, it can kind of bring us together and bring us uh, closer as, as people and brothers and sisters in love. And that should be everybody's goal, hopefully. So... Um, anyways, back to the wisdom. Those are the moments you're going to be looking for. Um, um, and why it's important, I feel, to be self-aware and make sure that self-awareness is a, a daily practice. Um, so I don't want to go too long, uh, but just wanted to give a quick little build on the importance of self-awareness and wisdom and knowledge. Um, so... Peace, love, and light. It's your brother, Frater RR, Brother Robinson. Peace.